Hello everyone, it's the Motorcycle Muse here and I just wanted to do a quick video to explain how a centrifugal oil filter works in a motorcycle engine. So the centrifugal oil filter is this component here. I have removed the clutch cover. So this is the clutch cover. I've just removed it from this particular engine. So I can see on the left hand side I have my clutch I have the oil pump down here at the bottom, which I have is quite loose at the moment, and I have the centrifugal oil filter here. So the way the centrifugal oil filter works is essentially as the engine is when the engine is running, the piston is going up and down and it is driving the crankshaft which is this component that runs through the center of the motorcycle from this side through to here and on the end of the crankshaft we have our centrifugal oil filter so it's just rotating on the end of the crankshaft now as the oil is pumped around the motorcycle engine it is actually pumped in through this little valve here so it's pumped in through here from the actual clutch cover so here we have our clutch cover and it's this little component here or this little um, outlet here on the clutch cover from which the oil the oil is received into the the little hole in the valve here and it flows into the centrifugal oil filter through that little valve. So the oil itself is pumped via the oil pump which is down here. So the oil pump, again I have it loose, but the oil pump, the pump will be driven also by this little driven gear. So you can see it moving here at the bottom. Hopefully you can just see that little bit of a movement. And that is that is uh, this driven gear drives the oil pump which pumps the oil through the recesses in or the cavities in the case of the engine so in this case here we can see some holes and these are holes where the oil is actually being pumped out through these holes suppose little reservoirs and it actually this is one of the recesses in the cavities or the cavities in the clutch cover so the oil is pumped in there so you can possibly see that there is a little hole at the back inside there in the clutch cover don't know if you can see that exactly but it leads down it pumps the oil, it causes the oil to be pumped down here, flow down this little reservoir and you can see that it comes up along here and it comes out through this little hole in the reservoir in the clutch cover and when this clutch cover, you have to kind of imagine this, but when the clutch cover just think about this little hole, when the clutch cover is actually sitting placed in its normal seated area on the engine, that little hole corresponds with the hole on this little valve. So that's how the oil gets pumped into the centrifugal oil filter. It's called a centrifugal oil filter because as the oil comes in through this little valve, due to the rotation of the filter, so you have to imagine that it's rotating at very high speed, the oil gets, I suppose, flung to the outside of, this is the outside of the centrifugal oil filter. So this is all inside, so I'll, show, I'll open up the, the cover on this little centrifugal oil filter and you'll be able to see inside. But the oil gets flung against the end of the filter. So any heavy components in the oil will remain as a residue around the rim of the centrifugal oil filter. It will obviously fill up with oil and because it fills up with oil 
the oil will conglomerate or build up until it builds up in the middle of the centrifugal oil filter. So in this, the middle of the centrifugal oil filter, the oil is not spinning at high speeds and it's not experiencing the centrifugal force. And as a result, the oil in the middle of this, the heavy components in the oil are getting pushed out to the end due to centrifugal force, but the oil itself, which is lighter than the heavy components, will actually flow down through the middle of the oil filter and will then flow back into the engine of the motorcycle. So we'll have oil with dirt and bits in it flowing in through this little valve. The little the heavy bits of dirt will get flung against the outside of the or the rim of the filter and the oil itself, the clean oil, will then flow through the crankshaft essentially and into the through little holes in it and in, back into the motorcycle engine where it can lubricate the the engine itself or the components of the engine. So let me just get a, a screwdriver here. So it's just there's just three Phillips head screwdriver screws on it. And I'm just gonna I've already loosened them just to make it easier but they will be screwed in quite tightly they will be torqued down to a particular value you need to be careful when you are removing these Phillips headed screws that you use a good quality screwdriver because you don't want to strip the heads of these screws because then you're just going to have the problem of trying to drill them out okay so with the screws loose I can just take the cap off the centrifugal oil filter. Okay, so in the cap we can see the little valve. The valve is on a spring, so that's just a side view. So the valve is on a spring, and you can see that it moves in and out. Okay, so the spring wants to push it out this way, but when you put the clutch cover on, the hole on the clutch cover will push on this so it matches up perfectly. Okay. If you want to clean this little valve, you would just take off this little R clip here, and then you can just take the valve out properly. And if you notice on the other end of the valve, the other end of the valve, there isn't you don't see any hole on it. It looks like it has no hole. So you see a hole this side, but there is you cannot see through it. There is no hole this other side. But there is actually a hole on the side of the on the side of it of this little valve here. So you might be able to just about see it here when I pop it out or pop it back in. You can just see where the where the other clip is, you can just about see a sort of a spacing in the valve. And the reason for that is that when the oil comes in through the valve, so the oil goes in through the valve, it hits this little plate, I suppose and the hitting that forces it to move in this direction so it moves to the outwards direction away from the center of the cover and that helps then once it's moving in this direction so it's moving in this direction it then due to centrifugal force rotational force I suppose you could call it it gets um, scattered or the heavy components get scattered against the end uh, in here so the, the dirt and grime will build up in here around the edge of the center of the centrifugal oil filter and you will have to periodically remove the clutch cover you will have to periodically remove this little cover from the centrifugal oil filter and you will have to scrape out the dirt so you'll see a little build up of gunge around the edge okay and then the clean oil continues on its journey into the um, crankshaft here and then we have clean oil feeding into the engine just lastly to note that there is a little gasket which you can kind of see peeling off here it's just a little oil gasket I suppose that will have to be replaced you'll need to have an, a, a, a new oil gasket 
to put onto this when you anytime you remove this because the gasket is going to get damaged as it has been in this case there's a little bit of damage here when I removed it so that will have to be replaced they're very cheap probably a couple of euro at most so that should be uh, it's not an expensive job to maintain the the centrifugal oil filter that is the only component really that has to be replaced during the lifetime of the motorcycle engine on this particular filter you're only paying maybe a euro euro or two for a little gasket compared to having to pay maybe 10 20 euro for uh, one of the large pod filters or pod oil filters that screw into the um, outside of the motorcycle engine the removable filters I suppose you could call them so yeah oil the oil goes in through the crankshaft or the yeah the crankshaft and flows in through the motorcycle engine and there you have your clean oil so that's just a quick demonstration of how a centrifugal oil filter works so hopefully you found this useful don't forget to hit like and subscribe to my uh, channel and uh, I'll have more content coming soon. Later everyone.